Hi, welcome back to Subtech Online. It's me again, Sabit Christopher. Today, I'm going to take you through a, a crucial step in data analysis. So, which step is this? This is data cleaning process. So, everything you do, everything you'll ever plan to do in data analysis, the first thing is cleaning your data. Make your data ready for analysis. So, we are going to go through the steps on how we do this. And please stay on this video up to the end. So we ensure quality for informed analysis. So make sure that every analysis you put outside there, it plays a crucial role in decision making. So what do we mean? So you have to understand the data set is the first crucial step in any data analysis process. It involves a comprehensive review of data structures, columns, and data types. So always we have a goal that you have to make sure that you dig out all the missing values while gaining the contextual and understanding your data. Then why, why do we do this? What's the purpose of data cleaning? So we have seen that to prepare your data set for a meaningful analysis that is going to address a lot of issues, uh, you have to make sure that you look out for them. That is missing values, duplicates, outliers, data types which are wrong. You have to make sure that you sort out all that before you begin any analysis process, which is part of this. Now, I have come out with five major steps in data cleaning. The first one is data scrutiny. The second one is addressing the missing elements. We have the duplicate dilemmas. We always see there is the outlier oversight. Then uh, the last one we are going to talk about is data type transformations. So we move straight to number one, that is data scrutiny. Uh, what does this mean? That you have to scrutinize your data set. Data set, I mean the source where you're getting data or the data you have in hand to start your data analysis. You have to look through columns, data types, all the structures, making sure that everything is ready and ask the variables and comprehend their meanings. Make sure that if you know that X stands for weekly sales uh, for your data, then make it clear, even when you're doing visuals, make it clear that X stands for uh, total sales in a week. Then investigate the missing values. Uh, make sure that you get the context on how you're going to deal with them. Then when you've done that, now we are addressing the missing elements. Identify and evaluate the, the extent of how you have the missing data. If you have a column and most of the data is missing than filled, it means that in the first instance, you never needed that column. So you either remove the whole column or it is going to skew your analysis. Then you have to formulate st strategies on how you're going to handle those missing data. So you're either going to fill in defaults for those missing data, that is the imputation of values, or you're going to employ an advanced imputation method like you create a function that wherever you find blank or null, please put a zero. There you'll have managed all your missing data. Then if in the other context that the missing data means that that entry was incomplete, you have to remove the whole column or the whole row depending on the objective of the analysis. Then there is another crucial part that you always have to look at the duplicate. We have duplicate dilemmas. It depends on how we query our data. So I may query data in the midday and the other colleague of mine comes and query data for the whole day. It means that at some point there are some entries we have made duplicates. So identify and remove duplicate rows in the data set to preserve the data integrity. That's one. Then you exercise also a caution when handling those duplicates. So there are some duplicates which don't have meant to be duplicates because data is missing maybe a unique identifier column which identifies the two transactions to be unique. So make sure that you put all that in place before you go ahead to do your analysis. Then we have the outlier oversight. Make sure that you identify outliers through your statistical methods of visual or visualizations. Uh, in this, imagine you're having a pricing that is input by your team or your machine, and you, you know that your prices always range from zero to a thousand, a hundred dollars. 
But one day you wake up, someone input $10,000 as a price. It means that it is going to skew your data. That item is going to be so expensive. It is going to skew the evaluations of the item. It is going to, to skew the, exp, uh, the expense evaluations at finance level and all the charts of accounts. So it means that we have always to look at that angle. At some point, you may be running an analysis with an objective of uh, analyzing the extent at what errors are done, if it is a machine. It means that I will need those outliers, then I get the extent. At what percentage do we have errors done? In a week, in a day, when a machine is running, when an app is running, how many times does it pick wrong prices? So we don't say that all... Uh, the outliers are always removed automatically. It is the objective of the analysis. So you will always decide on the treatment of those outliers, whether to remove or transform them or keep them based on the context. Then the fifth one, we have data type transformations. So please, uh, always ensure data types align with analytical requirements. Yes, uh, make sure that if a column is currency, everything should be currency. I can never have currency with date running in the same field. You can never have a uh, text, let's say a name Sabit Christopher, running with a price in dollars. That doesn't make sense. So make sure that you convert all your data types accordingly. So if you have also categorical variables, please convert them before you go to another step. So this is the inception step in data analysis. Then by that, I thank you guys. Thank you for attending this session and thank you for watching this video. If you are watching this video on any of our platforms, that is YouTube, that is X, uh, Twitter, we have a handle. Uh, we are also on uh, TikTok, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn. And in case you want to reach out to us to employ opportunities and work together with us, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, that is the email address I can always reach you out or you can always reach me out then in case you need whatsapp that is it guys I meet you in the next video but don't forget to subscribe like our video share to your colleague who has not got the opportunity to watch this meet you in the next video bye bye